should try and leave. And earlier the better. <coughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, what uh, CNS said about the Navy, its importance for the security of the nation is very, very correct. If our uh, trade routes are not open on the high seas and also in the ocean and other places, we will be hemmed in. Hemmed in. And that is very important role which they are performing. And they are doing so well. It is very good, very catchable, and my compliments goes to Indian Navy. <clears throat> I'm very happy that they came here and they came in such a big number and they are conducting so many events. It's very catchable and I think uh, we, are, uh, we should be beholden to them and which I'm. Ladies <clears throat> uh, and gentlemen, uh, the entire security scene and also political economic scene and also external policy scene of India changed on 26th of May 20, 2014. A man came on the scene at the apex political leadership, Sri Narendra Modi ji. And at that time, the Indian armed forces, they had the biggest problem. For many years, for a decade almost, for a decade, nobody had bothered that their combat capability should be raised. We were in a very bad state of preparedness for the war. God forbid, and I pray that war should not come. But if it comes, then we have to defend ourselves. And he started that war. And today, we are exporting Brahmo's missile. Earlier, there was nothing which we are making in our country. And we are now making the aircraft carrier. We are making the guns. I had gone to artillery regiment and I was talking to that officer. He was saying that guns in India, he said, what you had seen when you were in army, he said, those are all finished. He said, we are making very good guns. And what he said, very important. He said, we are making in our ordnance factories here in India. And that's the progress. And that's the progress this man has brought. Sri Narendra Modi ji. And I think uh, under his leadership, we are moving ahead. Not only on economic field, he was saying that we are going to become the second largest economy.